Shalom. Mm. Mm. Shalom, Mr. Um, I want to start off by giving our praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Khan Kodash. Um, double honor to the elder and apostle to Great Millstone. Mm, peace and salutation <coughs> <coughs> unto the elect. Uh, Salaki, if I may sound. I'm a little, um, you know, sick. Um, it's because I'm, I'm a bit under the weather right now. <coughs> <coughs> so it's lucky if that's like getting in the way. Um, nevertheless, I hope this be edifying to the hopeful that. And today we got the Psalms 91. <coughs> um, oh yeah, let's just begin. Um, it says. Psalms 91 and 1 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. <coughs> <coughs> and pretty much what this is going into is, um, you know, um, the, the, the secret place is this, this truth pretty much, you know, because, you know, this, this truth is our secret place. It's our, it's, our, it's our safe spot, you know, it's, this is what we can use as a, as, you know, um, a safety net, you know, when all else fails, the truth never fails us, you know, um, the secret, you know, <coughs> um, it says verse 2, I will, I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power in him will I trust <coughs> um, pretty much I got some precepts line you know um, I had and did that but pretty much it's Proverbs 18 and 10 this um, the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous runneth into it and is safe right man that's why we trust in the Lord because we know we're safe when it comes um, to that, um, verse three: Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his flower, with the like feathers, and under his wing shall thou trust. His trust shall be thy shield and buckler. All right. Um, um, I don't got no piece of that one. But pretty much, we're going to be safe. You know? The Lord got us covered. You know? Because we're doing this truth. We're, we're, you know, we're, we're being steady fast in this truth. We're being, <coughs> we're being, you know, ten toes deep in this thing. And that's what the Lord wants. The Lord wants us to seek Him in truth and sincerity. You know, ultimately, if you're not doing this in truth and sincerity, and ultimately, if you, if you ain't got the Spirit in the Lord, um, you ain't gonna be able to do these things. Man, speaking to me first and foremost. <coughs> you know? Um... Actually, I may have a piece for that. Um, actually, now let's keep it going. And thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that fleeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. <coughs> and it's going into them nukes, man. Them nukes has gonna hit. You know. Um, uh, and I do got Psalms 34 and 7 for that precept. It's it says the angels of the Lord encampeth around about that fear him and deliver them. 
Right, man. So, <coughs> man, man, oh, I'm feeling a bit. It's all good, though. Where the Lord must come out, man. Right, man. So if there's, if if you coming weak in this thing, if if, if you turning weak in this thing, I'm speaking to me first and foremost, you know, because I went on that little span where. Right? Just didn't post anything, man, and it's just not right. You know, I, that, I'm, I, you know, if I really, you know, want to be saved. And all this, you know, I gotta be doing this constantly. I just once a month. Not nah, man. <coughs> gotta be a little bit more constant than that, man. But. All right, man. If 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 you ain't on um, fire for this thing, you know, speaking to me first and foremost, once again, you you, you got a you got a serious problem, man, because um, you know, the the, the Lord ain't playing, man, and the Lord could really cast some serious judgment on you, you know. <clears throat> it's <coughs> it says. A thousand shall fall at thy sight, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. My man. And don't the scriptures talk about um you are blessed if you if you're able to see the downfall of your enemy. Esau, <coughs> Esau, eat him, because he is our enemy. You know, he's our evil twin brother, but he's our enemy, man. He wants us gone. He wants us dead. And you know, the Lord's not gonna allow that to happen. The Lord's gonna let Esau fill up to, you know, to where he's about to get full. And boom, the Lord's gonna ruin his feast. The Lord's gonna come down, he's gonna break them skies, and he's gonna put Esau right back to where he belonged in captivity. Because Esau was never supposed to be. You know, Esau ain't fit for a ruler, Esau ain't fit for a king. You know, that's the Israelites. The Israelites are, you know, Yashurala, Prince of the Power. And hey, soon they all gonna realize it. <coughs> they all gonna realize it. Um, it says, wait, I'm, do I have, no, and it says, because thou hast made the Lord, which is in my refuge, even the most high of thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. <coughs> um, verse 12. It says. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Least thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread up the lion. And adder the young lion. And the dragon shall trample under his feet. And what's the dragon? That dry, that dra so like that dragon is um this evil east power structure, man. That's what that dragon signifies. Esau Eastern power, Esau Eden power structure. <coughs> so like it, man. I'm trying, I'm trying to hold it in, but it just keep coming out. <coughs> um, <coughs> man. Um, hey man, and you know, there's some that, that I just had since you know. But verse fourteen, because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has knoweth my name. 
and that goes right back into that priest that we had in the, in the beginning named the strong tower of the lord but guess what this is wisdom of solomon five and two when they see it they shall be troubled with tremble fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond that they looked for right man and you know it's like it's um our salvation is going to be like an abduction you know these so-called ufos which are really chariots are going to come down they're going to beam up the 144 elect hopefully you know you brothers and i are part of it lord willing you know it's going to be it's going to be beautiful man <coughs> Because you're going to finally realize that, you know, all your hard work, all, all, all this time and effort has paid off, man. All the mockery you done withstood, you know, all the nights you done spent, you know, going overtime, you know. I know your brothers had them days. I had them days where, you know, you up 2, 3 o'clock in the morning trying to do something for the Lord, man. You, whether it be studying, whether it be praying, whether it be, you know, whatever, man. Whether it's making a video sometimes, whatever. Oh, you're out. Yeah, what happened? Huh? What happened? Go back inside. I'm trying to stay here alone. Well, man. Anyways, um, the salvation is going to be good, not, not good, it's going to be great, man, because all them nights you done spent every single day, man, it's going to pay off, it's going to pay off, finally, you know, <coughs> you know, I know you better have the nights when you just, you just ain't feel good, you don't, you know, or you just, you know, you just want to chill out and then you remember, oh damn, you know, I have to do something for the Lord. You're constantly always doing something for the Lord and eventually your riches stack up. And when it's time to cash in, hey, you're going to be paid up big, you're going to get a big reward. You know, all these, all these people out here who, who, who are living in the world, you know, they, you know, these people living in the world, they ain't gonna have, you know, what they gonna have, you know, they gonna have riches of this world, but they ain't gonna have no riches to stack up, and that, and that, that, that's what sets us apart, that's what makes us holy, you know, having this truth, you know, because we have a ticket to salvation now. We have this. The, think about it. We have the only way to get salvation out of the world. You know? <coughs> Man, call all y'all bashing me outside now. Call all y'all bashing me outside. You know? Hey man, and, and at the end of the day, because we have, you know, wisdom and knowledge shall be the strength um, of the times, or stability of the times, and I kill. Man, these women, they're gonna be trying to go to, to the man. Watch, this is Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take a hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread. <coughs> And wear our own apparel, only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Right, man. And seven is just a completion. Is just a completion. It's just a complete number of women. So that seven can really mean, you know, ten thousand, you know, you know, a hundred, any, anywhere, man. It's just a completion. It's a complete number of women. The 
just a complete number of women. You know, and, and, and women are natural survivalists. So, so, <coughs> so who they gonna choose? Mr. Drake, who has all this money and that the, they ain't gonna mean shit because of um, infl- um, inflammation. You know, the collapse of this economy, or they gonna choose a profit, or they gonna choose an elect number. They gonna choose an elect, a profit, man. Who, who, who's, who's stable, who ain't crying, who ain't bitching, who ain't, you know, who ain't losing his goddamn mind, who's eating, who's eating good, who ain't fucking, you know? Of course you're gonna choose the, the elect, man. Cause guess what? That, 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 that elect, man. <coughs> <coughs> it's like, cause that elect, cause you know that elect, man. Is going, you know, has the only shot to give us salvation, man. Because guess what? Not only is that elect man gonna be stable, that elect man gonna have some superpowers, man. Some some spiritual powers, man. Um, it goes into it goes into it, man. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them for every mountain, from every mountain, Zalakia, and from every hill, and out of the holes of the rocks. Right, man. So. <coughs> right, man. And, and them fishers are, are going to be turned hunters, man. Because. Right now we're fishing, man. We're fishing for some, for 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 um, for, you know, anybody who, who hear this truth, man. I mean, we're fishing. We're trying to wake the elect. We're trying to wake the the one third of the Yashurala, you know. And while we're also just letting the two thirds know, and and these other and these other nations know that hey, y'all fucked. <laughs> You know, and these other nations ain't gonna be able to repent now because guess what? They ain't Israelites, and especially Esau ain't gonna be able to repent, man, because his ass is, hey, <coughs> man, he's gonna mandate the, you know, that Mr. Mark, that Chippity Chip, that Doritos. He's going to mandate these Doritos, man. And, and, you know, and many people going to take that Dorito. <laughs> because it sounds good to them at first. You know, everything that the Dorito has sounds good to them, you know. But, you know, um, because, because. They ain't gonna have no other choice, man. Cause then you ain't gonna be able to eat. If you ain't got no Dorito, you know that C H I P. They ain't gonna be, they ain't gonna be able to eat, man. And, and, and they don't have no no faith to <coughs> <coughs> to refuse it otherwise, man. And. You know, it's like you know, I got a little bit off track there, but hey, that's the spirit, man. Verse 15. And he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. Right, man. And guess what? For them 501c3 camps, hey, y'all got another thing coming, man. This is Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Verse 22. (coughs) Verse 22. Many shall say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? 
Verse 23, here's the point. And I will prophesy unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Right, man. So these are the false camps, these false prophets, these 501c3s, these people who are doing the work of the Lord in vain, who, who, who you know, who get up every morning and are dreadful. They're like, oh, I have to do this, I have to study. You know, they, 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 the Lord got nothing coming for you, man. You ain't going to be. You ain't gonna be indulged in the, in the in the Lord's good side, man. You're gonna be in the Lord's absolute terrible. You're gonna be you're gonna be the Lord's bad side, man. To put it to put it simple, you know. Because not only did you guys you know fool the sheep, you know, all their blood is in your hands. Because you're fooling the sheep. You're telling the sheep the truth. And that's what we try to do. We try to cleanse our hands as much as possible. So we got no blood on our hands. So we'd be found innocent in the eyes of the Lord. <coughs> right, man. Yeah. Anyways, man. Pretty much. Uh, verse 16. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him in my salvation. Right, man. So, you know. The Lord is gonna, the Lord is gonna, you know, save the, 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 the true prophets, the, the true followers of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And, and that's another thing, man. The name of the Lord is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. The name, of, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, the name of His only begotten Son, our big brother, the, you know, Yahweh Shai, man. He's a, yeah, I wish I open up that, you know, yeah, I wish I sacrifice so we can, you know, have a, have a chance at salvation, man. And eventually all of Israel will be saved, man. But as of right now, you know, we got to take it one step at a time, man. And, you know, at 144, man, you got to strive to aim for that, man. That hopeful leg, man. Anyways, brothers, with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Yahushai. Mm. The water for you, brothers, tuning in. You know, <coughs> the bond to the other and apostle of the stone. I hope this was edifying, at least to some extent. Shalom.